So every single day I am faced with the dilemma. It's not really too much of a dilemma, but it is a dilemma whenever it involves me talking to myself in my head. It turns into quite a dilemma. To work out or not. I know I should. I need to do it because I don't feel too great all the time. And the only way to really get past that is to try to make my body healthier. And working out is a great way of doing that. But it's so hard. So I do work out, like, I try to at least once a week. That doesn't sound great, but for me who used to, like, never work out for a number of years, that's at least something. The fact is, I am lazy. If you can't tell by my hair and my attire, I, I've been very lazy lately. Like, I used to work out very regularly. I know in high school, I was very active. I've always been very active and then I hit my 20s and kind of plateaued out. So I am trying to work out as often as possible, even if it means that I am still in my pajamas. I just pull my pants way up high and I say, yes, I will be working out today. I don't care if I don't have all the equipment. I'm just gonna do something. So I've been trying my best to just do whatever I possibly can to work out, whatever gets me actually moving. It's really a matter of you don't necessarily have to motivate yourself, like get somebody to force you to do it or anything. I don't have that. It's just I want to be my own driving force because I'm just, I'm tired of feeling the way that I do. I'm tired of feeling depressed. I know I can't get over depression by working out, but I know that it can help. It can help me feel a little bit better. But basically I do whatever just feels right in the moment. If I don't feel that I can get up on the pole and do like tons of inversions and blah blah that day, then I don't. But I try to find at least what do I feel I can accomplish today. And doing it at least every other day like I've been trying to do has helped because it's made it to where doing quite a number of curl-ups and whatnot doesn't feel as strenuous as whenever I first started and it was hurting my back because I was doing them wrong. Then I've started just learning and I've tried to really learn how to do these things again because I used to know and I feel like because of age and time that my body has just kind of started changing just progressively to the point that I kind of forget what it's like to work out and what I should be feeling and what I shouldn't be feeling and how to move my body. I'm getting back to the learning stages of my body but and it does hurt like I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling just that and this is only a five pounder. I have been going at it longer than before I started filming but it really takes just motivating yourself to get up and no working out doesn't work for like everybody the same way. Everybody has different changes happen at different times and I try not to do it for the physical anything. I just try to do it for the health and then if physical changes do happen, like good physical changes happen, I get excited and it's just kind of a plus whereas I don't do it for I need to be this size and I need to have these muscles and blah blah blah. I tried that whenever I was a kid, like a teenager, and I really effed myself over. I was not treating my body correctly because I wasn't seeing progress as fast as I wanted and the way that I was wanting. And it's just that it was an endless cycle and I felt like even once I got to a point that I was like, yes, I got a two pack. And I was so proud of my two pack. But then I was like, but I need a six pack. And I kind of stopped being so proud of the accomplishment that I had. I tried to start little goals, but then it always turned into you want a bigger goal. But I didn't take it slow. I should have worked for a four pack and whatnot. And then I just ended up because I wasn't getting a six pack fast enough. I caved and I stopped working out and then I lost my two pack that I had been proud of and I had worked very hard for. It was sad. So now I'm in my twenties and I'm trying to try to find myself and I'm trying to find my body and I'm trying to find like how can I feel better and healthier and really only work out to make myself feel healthier and better. I don't want to feel like shit all the time. Like I may look it right now and I may not look like I've been working out but I want to tell myself and know for myself that yes I do feel like it worked out and I do feel like I did a good job and I'm proud of myself for even doing it and for getting off 
the bed and whatnot because I just I need to do it for myself and I've also really been trying to drink a lot more water and that has been making me feel like so much better. I think it's a combination of the two but I know for a fact that drinking a ton of water and then whenever I had one soda I was like oh I don't feel good. It was one of those of I've been starting to just kind of feel healthier and better in a sense. And that's good, that's what I was wanting, and then I have been seeing slight physical changes, and that's just the plus, that's the cherry on top, that's not what I was going for, but it's happening, and I'm thankful for it, and I'm not trying to look for any, like, massive changes now, but I definitely am like, ah, oh, there's a little muscle definition, how you doing, and stuff, but it's not what I was aiming for and striving for necessarily. The other thing about working out for me is we got this pole and I really wanted to learn tricks and I really wanted to be able to do amazing cool stuff that I've always looked up to just because I think it looks sweet that you're able to like hang in the air upside down and whatnot. It's always fascinated me. Like I wanted to do the curtains that they do in Cirque du Soleil since I was really little and I don't necessarily have the setup to be able to do that. I'd love to one day but right now we have a pole and I was like sweet I want to learn how to do all this and I do have some physical problems and I'm not gonna really go into that, but I do have chronic pain and whatnot that has prevented me from being able to easily learn and do some of the tricks, which sucks for me because whenever it comes to learning tricks, I want to push myself like crazy. I'm just like, no, I want to be able to do this. And I know that's wrong, young grasshopper. Anyway, that aside, Karate Kid is great, but <laughs> that aside, I know I need to learn it at my body's pace and my body is kind of a jerk sometimes and is like well yeah everybody else is learning how to do this super quick and easy and you should be too but now you're gonna be in screaming excruciating pain and you're gonna fall off the pole and you're gonna cry and I don't like that because that's not what I want to be and I used to do fencing and the same thing happened there where I was like, ah, this is easy, this is great, and you get me going for a while. And I was throwing up and in so much pain. I sometimes threw up just because of pain and medication I was on and other things like that to where something that should be easy and was easy for everybody else was a little more difficult for me, but I still really wanted to do it and I still really wanted to learn it. So I went at it for years. <laughs> till I felt like yes I know what I'm doing now and I really miss it nowadays and I know that I could still probably pick up the sword and get right back to it pretty quickly even though it's been forever and I'm probably a little rusty but if I just brush off some of that rust and I put a little oil in my hinges like what I'm doing right now I could probably get back to being pretty good at it. I was really good at it. I was proud of myself for how good I was at it and I'm not just saying that because I worked my ass off. I was like three or four years of fencing. I, was, I loved fencing. It was incredible. I never got to go to tournaments but that was because of where my health and my life was at but I did enjoy it so so much and now I just want to enjoy the fact that I could easily lift myself on this pole and every single time that I'm able to like do an inversion I haven't been able to figure it out how to do an inversion up and on the ceiling like so I haven't figured out that nonsense that scares me <laughs> and especially because I don't have a spotter half the time so I don't really want to risk my life necessarily but I I get proud of myself anytime that I can go upside down on the pole it makes me happy. I feel like pride in myself and the fact that I can even climb up there because yeah it's not very tall but I'm pretty short and it takes a little more effort but I get so excited when I can do it and I just I want to have that feeling. I want to have that pride in myself and I don't want it to just be a dream that I had of I could climb it and then I try to do it physically in real life and I bomb at it and I don't do great. I want to be able to do it and I want to pride myself in doing it just for myself just be like yes buddy you did it I'm not doing it to show anybody really I'm not doing it to just I want to do it because I want to do it and I want to be able to pat myself on the back later and go you did it 
This year is definitely me trying to get my poor little body taken care of because I need to. I'm in my prime and I know that that doesn't last forever and I want to be able to pat myself on the back at 30 and be like thanks for not screwing me over but that's me like I've always wanted to be strong I've always wanted to feel at least strong for myself even if it's not like macho man muscle builder I just want to feel strength because I've constantly felt weak in my life that anytime that I have a moment of feeling strong, like physically, I get excited. I get excited whenever I'm able to even like walk a certain distance that I've never been able to. Going to Disney World last year was a huge triumph for me that I didn't wind up in a wheelchair that year. I thought, <laughs> like I warned everybody in the group, I was like, just a heads up, I might need to rent a wheelchair, I don't want to. I've never wanted to every time I've gone to Disney and had to get a wheelchair by like the second day. I hate it, I know I shouldn't hate it, but it's just one of those where I'm like, mm, I hate sitting. Like, I want to be able to like go over there in the aisle and I know I shouldn't complain or anything because I am blessed to be able to walk and whatnot, but it's one of those of I just... <sighs> but I was proud of myself because I was able to walk all of Disney and not have to get a wheelchair like I thought that I would. I did wear my braces and whatnot and I made sure to take care of myself, but and I did have to soak in the bath a lot, but I just want to be able to pat myself on the back at the end of this year and be like, see, even though you cried and even though it wasn't easy and even though you didn't really want to necessarily, you did it, we're here, wherever we're at next year, and thank you, I'm proud of you. Whatever it may be for you, whether it be working out, or whether it be learning how to draw better, or paint better, or cosplay better, whatever your goal is, even if you want to just kind of put it off, I, I feel ya. But I really do hope that this helps you, and I really hope that this helps me. I'm kind of saying this as I motivate to myself of like, make sure you actually stick to this. But I really hope that whatever your goal is, that you're able to reach it. And that you just feel pride in yourself with progress that you make. Even if it's small. If you chose to do it today, and you chose to do it even though you didn't want to, you still made more progress than the guy who said, eh, maybe tomorrow. I love you guys. Thank you.